discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're out here in the yard. We're gonna do some rotting tonight and I've got with me the BRK Ghost in 22 caliber. You guys have seen this gun before. It's a fantastic little gun for backyard use. And then I've got it topped with the new One Leaf Commander NV400. This is a day, night scope. I'm real excited to test it out. Ultimately, I will be reviewing it. Later on, I'll give you guys a little more detail on it and we'll be able to kind of check out um, some of the footage and see what kind of quality it is. But for now, I've got a target here at 17 yards. We're gonna check the zero, make sure everything is good to go. And then uh, we've got a good couple hours before it gets dark and we'll come back out and see what kind of action we can get here in the shed. You ready to kill? You ready? Most of the hunting and shooting that I do is well beyond 50 yards and in some cases well beyond 100. And so it's real important for me to practice at these closer ranges under 20 yards because the kill zones on rats are extremely small. We are going for headshots. And so it's really important to be confident in the way you have your kit set up and be really proficient at those particular ranges. One of the main reasons I wanted to get out here tonight was to really kind of test out the new Commander NV400. Um, I really just got this. I, I've played with it a little, um, but this will be really my first time trying it out um, at any length of time at night. Um, it does have a range finder. It's got um, 52 power zoom. Um, it's got a external NV light here, and it's got a poop screen. Um, it's got a lot of real nice features um, that you wouldn't expect for a $500 unit. And it does record in 4K at 120 frames per second, which is pretty good. I'm anxious to see the, the quality of the footage. Um, but we'll give it a go, and ultimately you guys will see a review. So the remote driveway alarm did go off. Marley and I came out here, it's about 10 o'clock. And I turned the camera on and I did see some eyes on the upper left hand portion of that building. And they usually come in on the top rafter there. And sometimes they'll come down onto the shelf. And that's usually when I'm able to make a shot. Um, but you really just have to be patient and wait for them to stay still and that's usually why I put bait there because um, they do come through there regardless of whether there's bait or not um, the bait just kind of gets them into one spot where you can make a shot got that guy perfect headshot a lot of these rats, they come in on that top rafter and it leaves a really small uh, window of opportunity to take a shot. And, you know, having something that is just really precise is really the key, I think, for being successful with ratting. Because if you miss, um, chances are you're going to have to wait a while. Um, this uh, storage unit doesn't have, you know, hundreds of them running in. A busy night might be like a dozen. So you really have to make your shots count if you want to get a couple rats. So we've had a pretty average night out here. We got three rats down. Um, we've been out here for a couple hours. I'm gonna call it a night. Um, it was really about testing out the NV400. I wanted to get some use out of it, see what kind of recording quality it's capable of, and uh, you know, see if we could get some, some rats down. 
and this kit definitely worked well the ghost is a very accurate gun um, I will be doing a review of this because I've been using it for a good couple months and uh, I feel confident in being able to share all that info with you guys um, but if you have any questions um, leave a comment I'll try to answer I really appreciate you guys and I look forward to seeing you in the next video since 2014, Hard Air Magazine has been providing fair, balanced, and honest news, reviews, and information about air guns. This year, Stephen Archer has created the Ham Community Forum, where you can participate in topics on all brands of air guns in an open environment by air gunners for air gunners. You can speak directly with manufacturers and guys like me who use all types of air guns in the field. To gain the full benefits of the ham community, all you need to do is register, introduce yourself, and start contributing. It's quick, easy, and of course it's free. I'll leave a link in the description box and I hope to see you there.